What's going on, guys? We're back again with a fun live on SoCal Sunday. I'm Jeff. I'm Luke. And today we are going to be testing the newest Azaro fragrance, the most wanted, the wanted by night or wanted, wanted by night, wanted tonic, the newest one, the most wanted. So we're doing a live reaction. Um, so if you have questions, this is only about the most wanted. So don't ask us like, what's our favorite fragrance or what gets you most compliments? I'm gonna try to just focus it on this one right here. Should we wait a little bit though before? Yeah, we can wait. What's up EV Motorsports? Um, let's just slowly start taking it apart. We got 17 people watching. Um, obviously more, we'll keep this one up forever so more people can experience it. Jay's yeah. um, like, yo, Luke's in it for a change. So it's been opened. This is a sexy bottle. I'm actually excited to see the bottle yeah. in person. So. What's going on, Spencer? Look at that. There we go. All black and sexy. It's got a nice little, like, um, I'm totally blanking. Matte? Matte. It's like a nice matte black, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. There's the bottom. Whatever you guys want to know, this is batch number. No idea because I can't see it, <laughs> but it's there. Um, so the main note on this one is melted caramel, amber woods, and there's something else, and I'm totally blanking on what the third note is, but we're about to experience it, this. Um, Nathan's wearing YSL tuxedo right now, which she all on. We're gonna, we're just gonna be doing wanted, the most wanted, so. Luke. Cool, Luke. Man, so, so. Um, and I actually think this is the first, the most wanted review on YouTube, so before, yeah. If you're just joining us, we're going to get to it right now. You ready to try it? Yes, let's get it. This is our first reaction. We've never smelled this before, so. Hopefully it's good. Yes. I don't like blind buying stuff, and I blind bought this one. Okay. There you go. Okay. Oh, I like it. You know yeah, what? This is really nice. It has like a one million e vibe. Totally. Kind of. Let's do it on my skin. Like it gives me one million vibe. Like that same aura. <laughs> You should have her join in. No. <laughs> um, definitely smell the caramel. I like it's it fresh. Lot. It's sexy. It's fre It's a sexy fresh. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Very nice. I think you could wear this in spring for sure. Yeah. This is a nice one. This is like a... This is their date version. This is like where I would wear my... I, I, I wear Gucci Guilty a lot. And this gives me like the same family of a Gucci Guilty. I wear it in the same occasion. I'm like, a, it's a fresher... It's like an all-weather sexy fragrance. It's not yeah. too heavy, but it's not too light. I think you can get away with wearing it during like a uh, even like like a cooler summer night too mm -hmm. on like a date. Yeah, like it has, it's light enough to not be like. From reading the note breakdown, I 100% thought it was going to be like a winter scent, and it's much fresher than what it is. Probably why they released it right now. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice. It's sexy. It's it's, a lot. Now here's the here's sure. the real question. Um, do we like it better than Wanted by Night or Wanted? I do. Yeah. <laughs> I, it doesn't smell. I wouldn't compare it. Like, it doesn't smell like a Wanted fragrance. Yeah. Now, wh which girl do you think? Because obviously people come to our channel for the girls. Which one do you think will love this the most? Uh, I feel like everyone will kind of give it a good reaction. Yeah. I feel like it's a, it's a solid. The only one I don't think might not give it a good reaction is Jade because she doesn't like sweet fragrances. Oh, yeah. I forgot about um, she prefers her fragrances not sweet on guys. But everyone else tends to really like it. Um, I did find the batch code. It's on the back. It, it was nine one U two zero zero F. So this is literally. I think this is the first like major review of this online. It's not a review, but the first impression of this fragrance. So let's look at the comments. What do you guys have questions of? Savage graded everything till this day. Savage is a good hit, but do we wear Savage much anymore? No. Not really. Um, so we're trying to keep this all focused on the most wanted. Uh, sweet smells right. Rebellion girls will like it. Those bottles are so hard. Yeah, the bottle was very nice. Um, it smells really good. Like it's on my hand. It's on Luke right now. All we smell it in the air right now. Yeah, very nice. I actually, this is nice. Yeah, I really like that a lot. Um, a good sauce. One in by night is the highest rated fragrance we have on our channel. I think this will do just as well. Yes. Are you Facetiming someone right now? No, it's still me. <laughs> okay, I was like, what? Um, cool. Compared to Prada Black, nothing like Prada Black. I would, I would say not. No, it doesn't like. 
It's sexy. I, I would no. I would wear this in a situation that I might wear Prada Black too. It's yeah. not as heavy as Prada Black, but I, I say it's still like a nice, sexy fragrance. Like um, we're it's been like what three minutes on right now. I just a lot. Smell on your hand again. I right? compare it. it you can smell oh, it's, caramel. It's switched up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. I I would say it's more like in the Gucci Guilty family. That's what I I, I feel like Gucci. My original one. Yeah. Um, Doesn't remind me of Gucci Guilty that much, but yeah, it's a it's a me fragrance. If that helps in any way. I would. I actually like to. I would wear this. I think I would every day. I, this is a great fragrance. Yeah. Um, this is probably going to be one of their biggest hits. I think. Yeah, it's very like, good. I think y'all be like this one, but it really does smell like caramel on the skin. Yeah. For me, nice. at least. Um, what other fragrance would you compare it to? Luke's thing's Gucci, Gucci Guilty lineup. It gives me that that energy. It can be related to it. It's fresh though. That's the weird. thing. It's fresh, but it's sexy. Yeah. Yeah. It's fresh. Uh, it's not like a aquatic fresh. It's like. It's not like a fruity it's, fresh. It's a sexy fresh. Yeah, it's not bubble gummy. So okay. it's it, it's fresh enough to wear in many seasons. Yeah. I wouldn't wear it in the high heat, though. Um, but I think you could wear it summer night. You could definitely wear it summer night. Yeah. Um, it's good. Seems like a blind buy. We blind bought this one. I literally was just like, I saw it on eBay, and it popped up. And I was like, no way. And I got it right away. It was like 60 bucks for this bottle. And... I'm glad I actually bought it. <laughs> Definitely going to be rocking this one a ton. Yeah. Um, compared to Stronger With You range. Doesn't smell like Stronger With You to me at all. I what guess, again, it's it's like a, it's a thing where it's fresh sexy. It's yeah. all, I feel like Stronger With You is a heavier, it's, sexy fragrance. Because it's still sweet, but it's not. Yeah. Like, to me, Stronger With You is just super, super street sweet. This is not that. This is sweet and fresh. It's not bubble gummy though, because usually you associate sweet and fresh with bubble gummy. Um, the only other thing you think of the sweet and fresh like that is like black excess, but it smells nothing like black excess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where'd you get it from? eBay. Seems like a blind by word. Okay. Prediction for longevity. No idea. I mean, we literally just tested it. Um, it smells good. It's an EDP concentration, um, but we don't worry about longevity so much because we wear multiple fragrances throughout the day. Um, is a magnetic cap? It is not a magnetic cap. Uh, could you wear it to the office? Yeah. I think it's pretty flexible. Yeah. Like, you'd smell sexy in the office, but yeah. I, I definitely think you could wear it to the office. Is it gourmandish? You, I smell caramel on me. I don't know if you smell caramel on you. Just a little bit, but I wouldn't say it's like, like what's it called? Um, the what, term is gourmand. Oh, yeah. like um, uh, Ferragamo. Ferragamo's Womo. Like, yeah, well, it's like Womo. But, yeah, because it's fresher. That's what it is. But it has a nice, it has a nice note. Yeah. Definitely nice. nice. Um, How does it compare to Wanted by Night? Very different. Wanted by Night, sexy night on the town fragrance in colder weather. This one I think you can wear more often and on dates. You can wear Wanted by Night on a date, but I think that's more suited to going out with like on the town. Um, Paco Rabanne Excess. I've never tried the original Excess. I've tried Black Excess and Pure Excess. Pure Excess Night has that caramel vibe going, but we don't like that one, and this one doesn't have that vibe to it. Is it youthful scent or more mature scent? It's totally youthful, um, but I think any age can wear this one. Like, don't you think? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's not young, it's not old, it's just kind of there. Is it another fragrance with Invictus Aqua 5? No, it is not a, it smells nothing like any Invictus or Voss or Legend Spirit, it smells nothing like that. Um, it's, cause it's, it's like sexy, it's like, yeah. And it's changing even a little bit now. Like you're starting to pick up more woods as it settles down. Uh, how does it compare to Code Absolute? Very different than Code Absolute. I think I would add this to my top three date suggestions, top four date suggestions, though. Yeah. Right. As of right now, obviously. Very, very nice. Um, like you always know, we Code Absolute is my date night. Proud of Black is Luke's date night. Um, we also like uh, Halloween Man Shot. Recommend that one a lot. And then uh, Gold Rush by Paris Hilton, which we both really vibe with that one now. Yeah. I would add that to that yeah. upper tier of like sexiness. Uh, where does Luke buy his clothes from? Uh, mainly All Saints, uh, and then Pac Sun, and Zara. Zara, like those kind of vibes. Yeah. Uh, Luke, what's your sense of the day? He's currently wearing oh, yeah. the most wanted. Yeah. So you guys try to focus our questions towards this because um, this will go up as just the most wanted reaction. Uh, is it better than Code Absolute and Pride of Black? It's different. It's very different, yeah. Those are 
geared more towards cooler weather because we don't really rock those when it gets warm out. You could rock this when it gets a little bit warm out and be okay. Yeah. I saw, was it, saw Is it worth owning both this and one by night? Yes, because they smell nothing alike. Um, this is, yeah, you could totally own both. Yeah. So what's it? Is it a fra uh, dead dairy? Dead MLC. Peru. It's a fragrance. Is it a fragrance for clubbing? I feel like you could wear it to a you club. You could wear it to a club. Yeah. Yeah. Um, does it smell like anything, any of the wanteds? No, it does not. Yeah, it's very different. Very, very different. Because to me, wanted and wanted by night, daytime, nighttime, but it still kind of smells like wanted. Wanted tonic smells nothing like wanted. And this one doesn't smell anything like wanted either. Yeah. Um, cool. Please report fraud claims to your YouTube admin. Okay. <laughs> um, cool. Any other questions? We've been going for like 10 plus minutes now. Um, highly... I highly recommend it from initial impression. Obviously we haven't done like, we don't know how it sits two hours from now. So we don't know the dry down or any of that stuff, but just the initial impressions is really nice. I'm going to make this my fragrance of the night too. Get my wrist, shoulder, shoulder, age range. I think anyone can wear it. Like I could even say a teenager on a date could rock this one um, all the way through a middle-aged guy. And I don't think it would stand out jarringly. It is definitely more youthful smelling because it does have that sweetness to it. Yeah. Can it be a signature scent? Yeah, I think it can be. Yeah. I like the party of Luke's. <laughs> B-boy equip. Equip? Equip. Uh, is it dry down? Is it still youthful? Because one of my nights is more mature in the dry down. I mean, we're only 10 minutes into spraying it. It still smells pretty, pretty youthful. Um, it doesn't come off as old. What's up, Vince? Um, how come it's not on Azara's website in the US? I have no idea. I bought this on eBay though. So there was a couple bottles on eBay and it was like 60 bucks and that's a great deal for a brand new release. So I snatched it up real quick. Like does the machine behind me actually work? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this was our gym. So we're in the gym right now. We built it this summer and then his mom decided to make it an office. And we were like, what? <laughs> um, uh, you're welcome, Michael. First impression. Did you guys get an alert on eBay to purchase it? No, I just literally typed it in on eBay one day and I saw it and I was like, this isn't even in the stores yet. And I bought it. Projection. I can smell it from Luke. <laughs> we're like two feet away. Yeah. Um, but it's just our first impression. So I have no idea what the overall is but right now it's i can smell it pretty strongly that bottle is awesome it is awesome alarm sword oak stream worth buying in 2021 it's my most complimented fragrance luke wore a ton this year too yeah um i just got named luke, <laughs> luke. nice pad you'll be grinding hard what's yeah, up there are only nice three name. on ebay <laughs> well i got one of the three um let us uh how about the smell of um okay uh nice snipe um do some pull-ups in the heat of the fragrance and make it pop <laughs> heat it up luke go drop and give me 10 oh i saw it at local macy's here in sacramento oh nice um do you have a buyer you got it from i really love my one by night i don't remember the name of the buyer i literally just googled it and the person had like Five thousand reviews, and it was like ninety-eight percent. So I was I was comfortable with buying it from them. And eBay does have a fake policy where if you buy a fake fragrance, it's no questions asked. Um, all right, better than Spice Bomb Infrared. Very different than Infrared. Um, I like both. I've worn both plenty of times. Um, infrared is probably my favorite Spice Bomb, um, but it is completely different than this one. Um, both are great releases and I definitely plan on picking up a bottle of infrared eventually. <laughs> uh, never seen Mason Christian Dior, Amber Nue on the channel. We've done it on the live before. So if you haven't watched all the lives, we smell some random stuff sometimes. Um, I am muting this one person who keeps on saying, please report live. Um, let us put that user in timeout. Cool. Uh, When's the laser action coming for the new fragrances? Soon. Um, we're going to try to film this week. Um, yeah, that's basically it. We're going to try to film this week. And we'll see. We'll, whenever we get the next guest, and we'll have them smell all these fragrances, obviously. 
Do you think he'll be strong enough for the winter? Yeah, I think it's kind of any time. Yeah. Uh, YSL Le Parfum. I've worn it. Luke, did you wear it that one day, or did Sean just wear it? Maybe Sean would. It smells good. I got a bottle of it coming. Um, did you like it smelling it on Sean and stuff? Yeah, it was good. It was nice. Yeah. Uh, we'll definitely test that with the girls, too, obviously. And uh, when is Mont Blanc Sport Blue coming out? No idea. Uh, it was compared to Wanted by Night. It smells nothing like Wanted by Night. Wanted by Night is a cinnamon. It's like a fruity, sweet cinnamon fragrance. Um, this is sweet, woodsy, fresh. It's a sweet, woodsy, fresh fragrance. It's really nice. Like, really, guys. Does it give you a headache like the EDP did? Oh, um, the Lamal, or not Lamal, um, why EDP gives me a headache, why Le Parfum did not give me a headache. I've worn it twice, didn't give me a headache either of those two times. Um, top three of 2021 so far. I would definitely say it's top three. Yeah, what else really came out this year? Um, let's see what else come out. Uh, Legend Eau de Parfum. I like it better than Legend Eau de Parfum. Um, Spice Bomb Infrared. You smell that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. What else? I'm trying to think of other ones that have we've. Armani Code EDP. Have you smelled that one yet? I don't know. Because when I tested with the girls, you were not there that day. Um, yeah. Uh, definitely this, to me, this and Infrared are my two favorite that I've smelled so far this year. Um, does it have coffee scent at all? Has no coffee scent. Um, caramel and woods and freshness. And I can't pick up what the freshness is coming from, to be real honest with you. Do you think it's your new favorite, Azaro? I think so. Yeah. I like Wanted by Night a lot, and I like Wanted. But this, I think, is the most well-rounded. Yeah, it's not my favorite. Uh, Luke, where's the pretzel crackers at? <laughs> yeah, I'll listen. Yeah, where are they? Maybe I think they're in the one. other room. Yeah, those are good. Uh, which is your favorite, One Million? Uh, the original, yeah. The original. Yeah, the original or Privé for me. I do like Lucky, though. Yeah, I like Lucky, but I feel like it's not appreciated as much as it should be. Yeah. Uh, what was the 800 number it felt like these guys were making? I have no idea. Um, sounds like I'm a new fan of your channel. Where did you guys get it? We got this on eBay. Um, what time of year would y'all wear this? Any time but high heat, I think. I would only not wear it when it's super, super hot out. Mm. Yeah. Does it smell like burnt caramel? No, it does not. I don't pick up burnt. Do you pick up burnt caramel? No, not really. Yeah. Like pure excess night smells like burnt caramel to me. This doesn't smell like that at all. Mm. Um, all right. Let's see what other questions are here. Which is the fragrance is closest to? I don't really have a. It, to me, it smells kind of new. I don't. Yeah. I don't really know of a comparison I'd do it for. Uh, but better than one of my nights. It's just different. Where can I buy it? I got this on eBay. Um, someone said they found it at a Macy's in Sacramento. So I think it's slowly getting out there. Yeah. Ultra Red or Most Wanted. I've never smelled Ultra Red before. It's been discontinued um, for a while, I believe. So. Which fragrance is closest? Don't know. Bad Boy Le Parfum or Most Wanted? Most Wanted by far. Bad Boy Le Parfum smelled like stank weed on my skin. Um, and then it, when it dried down like an hour later, it just smelled like a clean skin scent. Um, but you had to be like, to even smell it. So I wasn't really super into Bad Boy Le Parfum. I like the original Bad Boy much more. Um, would you say it's a year-round fragrance? I think you could make it a year-round yeah. fragrance. Just if it's too hot outside, I wouldn't really wear this one. Um, same occasion use. I think it's multiple occasions, but it's sexy. It's date night, mm -hmm. but versatile. You could wear it outside of date night too. Kind of like how blue to Chanel. Like you can wear blue to Chanel on a date. The girl thing is sexy. You can wear it other times. This isn't like blue to Chanel at all, but versatile like that. Where this is sexier on a date than I feel like blue to Chanel is. Yeah, for sure. Um, Bad Boy Le Parfum's garbage. Uh, what? Why does want to get so much compared to Wanted by Night? Um, they're just similar. Um, I don't know why people hate it. We like it. We own both. We like both. The women all like both. Um, rating out of 10. It's a nine for me. Yeah, I'll say nine. Yeah. 
Um, I don't really give anything tens, but a nine is pretty pretty oh, good. Black, it's that. Uh, Luke, what's your pickup line? Uh, well, I don't <laughs> pick up line anymore. Finally tried Toy Boy. It's different. Yes, Toy Boy is very different. Um, great conversation starter, though. Oh, so what's a good pickup line? Yeah. Oh, hello. Could you pull this Hi, off? As an how are you? That's, that's a good pickup. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Uh, good office fragrance? Yes. Um, favorite food? See. It's still giving the one million vibe. Um, I feel like it's yeah, it's changing a little bit, it's settling a little bit differently than I thought. Yeah, but still very nice. Yeah, it, uh, yeah. Good day scent. Yes, I'm definitely gonna get this bottle. Thanks, boys. Uh, Savage EDT or Blue EDP. Luke's not into Savage or uh, Blue really much at all, um, but you like Savage, yeah. so he'd probably tell you Savage. Um, I feel like the girls kind of lean towards Blue a little bit more as a whole. But honestly, you, you really can't go wrong. Just go with the other one you, you like wearing. Uh, it's part of Loons Rose Black and Armani Code Absolute. Yes. Yeah, I'd say something. Unisex or more masculine. I can't really picture a girl wearing it, but if a girl wants to wear it, I think she could totally rock it if she really wanted to. I didn't really think it's masculine. Mm -hmm. um, how's it on the dry down? We are 16 to 18 minutes into the wearing it. Yeah. Still smells great. Um, Really interested now. I can't wait to get my anime collection. Do you all layer fragrances often? I feel like we both kind of do yeah. pretty frequently. Um, most wanted or spice bomb extreme. Most wanted. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I know you own extreme, but don't you wear the original? Even I actually more? run original a lot. Yeah, for sure. Will you guys have a discount code or recommendation for a place to save some cash by moving the new wanted? We don't. Um, I bought this on eBay, so. Um, kind of just finding good places to buy it. Cool. All right, guys, we're wrapping this up. These were our first impressions of the fragrance. We like it. It's sweet, but fresh and very versatile. Um, think it'll go very good with the lady guests. Um, we're going to test with the lady guests as soon as the next time we bring them over to film, we'll definitely feature this one on there. Um, but we just want to give you our first impressions. Yeah. Someone asked, what's Luke's nationality? White and black. <laughs> uh, cool. All right, and then one more. B-Boy Equip, you still rocking Coach for Men? Yes. That's my go-to gym scent. He wears it all the scent. time. I love it. Yeah. And I've been wearing Coach Blue as my gym scent lately. Yes. Um, black Excess, Paco Rabanne, we recommend Black Excess. We both own a bottle of it. It's one of the few fragrances where we both own bottles of. Yeah. And it's been featured twice with the guests, and both ladies loved it. So Black Excess is good. Yeah. Um, cool. All right, guys. We're ending this live stream. Talk to you soon. Bye.